Hi everyone, welcome to Battle Clue Wargaming and we have something stupendously exciting for you all today. Um, we're filming this, it will be up at one minute past midnight by the time you guys are watching it. So congratulations if anyone stayed up this late because I would have been posting about it for days saying stay up this late. And we have Index Chaos, Index Xenos 1, Index Xenos 2, Index Imperium 1 and Index Imperium 2. All of the new books for 8th edition Warhammer 40k. Um, we've had a quick look through. Index Imperium 1 is basically an Space Marine book. Um, they're actually really nice. They're really, really nice books, I think. They, uh, they kind of feel of the same quality as the old codexes back in 4th and 5th edition. Um, it's the same kind of material front cover, same kind of quality of paper, nice glossy images running through it. I'm going to try not to show off too many of the rules because obviously you guys are going to have to buy it. Um, but having a look through, it's got everything in there. I mean, even the Imperial Space Marine, the 25th anniversary, um, was it 30th anniversary? I can't remember. The limited edition model that they did has its own data slate in this book. So it's got everything in it. You go on to Index Imperium 2, which has got... I'm never going to say that. Imperial Guard is what it's got. Uh, Mechanicum, Imperial Knights, Imperial Agents and Talons of the Emperor. So that's where your Custodes, your Sisters of Silence are. And you also do have Sisters of Battle in here. And looking, a dial Dialagos, Dialogos. We think that's new. I don't recall that from any of the old ones. And there's also some new units in here I haven't seen before. So perhaps the rumours of Plastic Sisters of Battles are true. Um... The thing I have noticed is anything you flick through and you think, I've never heard of that before, spooky enough there's not a photograph of, um, and we've all noticed that, we've all been looking through, looking at the new stuff, trying to think, oh where's the photos, where's the photos, where's the photos, and there there aren't any, so they've kept it quite well hidden. For example, a new Lam Radio variant, the Lam Radio Excelsior, there is no photo of. There is also a Primaris Rhino in here, which there is no photo of either. So they're obviously keeping their cards close to their chest. Um, something we have noticed in Index Imperium 1 is that the new Dreadnought's not in there. Um, Mark, what's it called? The Redemptor. The Redemptor, that's it. It's not in the book. Um, we've gone cover to cover. We've looked inside two as well, and it's not there. So why that is, I don't know. Perhaps it's not going to be out for a little while but it's not in there at all. Um, chaos then, we'll go to Chaos. So, got all your heretic space marines, Chaos demons, and traitor knights are in here as well. Um, it looks like a lot of the photos in these are brand new. They're not photographs I recognize from old books. It does look like they've actually gone to the, uh, to the effort of re-photographing a lot of units. There's, I mean, that's a, I won't be able to find it again now. There's a picture. That's obviously a really old image but there's a particularly new one at the back as well. So that's got, I'm having a quick read through, I've only literally flicked through them. It's got all of your Chaos uh, Warband rules, all of your Traitor Legion rules. That looks to be a really good book compared to what's come before it. That is one of the books that's now condensed where you used to have a Demon book, you used to have to have a Traitor Legion book, you used to maybe have to have the Black Legion book, you've now got it all in one place. That seems like a no-brainer for anyone that plays Chaos. That's a really good one. Xenos 1, Craft Worlds, Drukhari, Dark Elder, I know, I'm going to continue to call them Dark Elder, Yanari, Harlequins and Necrons. Uh, Necrons, we had to read it to make sure it was true, but they do now uh, stand back up on a 5+, plus. not only the turn they were shot down, they can continue to do that until their squad's wiped out. They are going to be immensely powerful in the new game. And then this one is the one that I was most excited about because everything I've been reading, Tyranids looked like they were going to become one of the most powerful factions in the game. And having read some of the Tyranid rules that have come out and the army list, again, I'm not going to go too in-depth, guys, for obvious reasons. I'm really just showing off what they look like in this video. But Tyranids are going to be horrific. There's not a unit in there for the Tyranids. From my understanding of the eighth rules, from having looked at the rule book and things like that, I can't see a, a unit that doesn't have a purpose and isn't going to find its place in the Tyranid army list. Whether you want to run big creatures, whether you want to run uh, hordes of gaunts and things like that, you can do. You've obviously got the Gene Slater cults in there as well. Um, Tau's a funny faction, actually, <laughs> to put in that book. You would think Tau would actually sit in this book with the Craft Worlds and the Harlequins. Uh, putting Tau in there is a little bit bizarre. So yeah, they are overall, guys, really, really nice books. 
The artwork's fantastic, they look really nice. I'm excited to see what the new codexes look like when they come out based on how good these look. Um, but yeah, some, just that, that, that Dreadnought not appearing has thrown us a little bit. We don't know why that wouldn't be in the book. But there we go, so we'll have a look at these a bit closer. We will play some 8th edition games, you know, I've been moaning about it the whole time, but like I've said the whole way through, I'm not going to judge it until I've actually played it. And I've obviously got Blood Angels, which I can quickly use as Flesh Terrors. I do need to pick up Seth, and Seth is in this book, I've already checked, and he looks like an absolute monster. <laughs> With his new stat line, he looks like one of the most powerful characters in the Marine lineup. So yeah, um, anyone wants to pick any of these up? Go to Wargamers Den in Raynham. Uh, they'll all be available um, to reserve um, from, yeah. They're available to reserve now. Available to reserve now, and they'll all be available to actually come in and pick up on the 17th. So, thanks for watching, guys. Drop us a like, subscribe. Any questions you want to ask, please do. I'll do my best to find out answers for you by looking through the books without giving you any photos of rules or anything like that, okay? play the game, you know what it's like, you can't put up photos and stuff, so if you, you just want to clarify whether a certain unit appears or something like that, by all means ask me. They're available to look at. And so. Yes, as of the day this goes online, uh, they will be in Wargamers Den in Raynham. These books, to go and have a look through, go and have a read, they're available for anyone to see. So yes, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.